Ear to hypodermic needles? Well, you're in luck. Scientists at MIT have developed a new gadget that could make future injections a lot less painful and terrifying. Instead of a sterile metal point penetrating your skin, the gadget fires a jet of medicine through your skin at the speed of sound. It's similar to a normal syringe, except instead of a needle, it uses a Lorenz force actuator made from a magnet surrounded by a conductive coil. When a current is turned on, the magnetic field interacts with the current to produce a force. That force kicks a piston, which ejects the drug that has been embedded inside the capsule. The speed of the injection and the depth it will reach can be controlled by altering the current. So not only will those with the fear of needles feel more at ease, but accidentally pricking oneself with the needle tip will also be a thing of the past. Crime is out of control, and Ace Viral knows that when grandmas are angry, you'd better get out of their way. Angry Gran is doing her part to clean up the neighborhood, starting off with a newspaper to whack those she passes. Be careful not to miss or hit a policeman, or else you'll have to endure a granny-sized penalty. This single-touch game is all about powering up Gran's swinging power and smacking cash right out of the criminal's pocket. Use the newly acquired cash to upgrade the items you use to whack people with, buy boosts, and upgrade your pension. Angry Gran is available on both iOS and Android devices and is free to download. Hey folks, today we're reviewing the Griffin Hello TC Assault Helicopter. Now, upon first look, this looks like a really awesome controlled helicopter. It has a um, flight deck that's attached to your cell phone, uh, either iPhone or Android. It's controlled by a free app. It gives you capabilities to either do joystick or tilt motion. There's a sensor on the back of the flight deck and it points towards the plane. It's pretty quick to charge. It's pretty awesome, in theory. Only problem is, couldn't get off the ground. Um, it would raise maybe a few inches off um, and then fall over. It never really got as high as it you'd want it to. Um, maybe there's a sensor problem, there's a sensor on the flight deck. You get a little closer to the plane, still doesn't solve the problem. I don't know, for 60 bucks, I would say this might not be the best use of your money. Um, so I would give this a pass. That's all for this week. Be sure to tune in next week for all the tech you need to know.